and let's hope that comes soon, but even with that lag that you see in the footage, it's, it still changes the game, you know, just the landing just makes it so much better, because <coughs> with the head tracking, you need to move your mouth, really, but most of us don't, right, most of us don't left hand on the joystick and then right hand move the mouse or whatever. The problem with that is when your screen is frozen, you know, <clears throat> your, your, your lineup never, it's not an actual sighting lineup, like I, I mean a gun for example. So the origin point, like the points in your eye, and then the dashboard or the compass or whatever you aim with in the, in the cockpit so it's two points and then the third point is your aiming point and the runway right if you don't have head tracking or you don't move the mouse around then that axis <coughs> what should i say the axis from your eye to whatever point you use on your dashboard never changes right but your aiming point will change so what you want to do, if you don't, don't move the screen, so you want to align these three points together, right? But without head, tr head tracking, there is no reference for you to adjust. You get it? Like, there is, you, you're locked in, you, you, you can't move. So, these two points never move, but the runway point moves, and you're trying to adjust based on that. You get it? So you're actually trying to adjust based on half of the three point system that you're looking at. But this point never moves. So you have a hard time, you just push it, you know, you always But with head tracking, because all three of these can adjust these you know, you can call it low mid high or whatever, or near medium far. And my, when my head moves, right? It automatically changes the dashboard and the aiming point, right? And when, when my head moves again to the right or whatever, right? That would also change whatever point you fix yourself on the dashboard and the uh, runway, right? <clears throat> so all of a sudden you have way more information to your brain, you know, to line that up with. It's like a rangefinder you shoot for. You know, it's exactly like a rangefinder actually, the technologies. You have a reference by doing this, and then you get another reference by moving your head just a tiny bit or rotating or whatever. You know, and because the monitor is 2D, you, you, you won't have this problem in Oculus. So if you're, if you're playing the game in 3D, you won't have this problem. But if there's a landing problem because we're playing on a 2D screen, and the only way to triangulate you know, to lock onto the aiming point on the runway is by doing this, is by doing the shifts and the, the roll, whatever you do. But by changing this up, by moving around, <clears throat> you can measure, you know, or you can calibrate, let's say, whether you're actually aiming at the same aiming point as the plane is gliding down. So I, I you know, I, it changes the game. Like the first session I ran the smooth track, I've never landed with that confidence on a Cessna 172. You know, I, I can, but I concentrate on shit low, like, oh my god, flaps 1, you know, 80, flaps 2, 75, full flaps 70, okay, and don't move, okay, no wind, you know, 2 knots, whatever. But now, it's so easy. This makes lining up with the center line like, way easier. So it's it's worth the money. It's worth thirteen dollars. Totally worth.